your boy J Boogie back with another video today on this marvelous, magnificent Monday. Make sure you guys don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe under this video. So today I'll be talking about who is in my top five greatest centers of all time to ever play in the NBA. So sitting at number five, I got my guy no other than my favorite center of all time. Hakeem Olajuwon, Hakeem the Dream. Man, he's pretty much his skill work, his skill set is top notch. Probably on this list, he's the most skilled center. Got the best footwork, um, pretty much a two-way center. Can give you 30, 30 points, of course, 12 rebounds. And come back on the other end, give you like three steals and like seven blocks. So, Hakeem Olajuwon, man, pretty much... Uh, Got two rings, back-to-back -back years. I uh, won MVP one of them years. Uh, I think it was 94. And pretty much it was dominant pretty much like in the mid-80s up to like early, mid-90s. So, I mean, Hakeem Olajuwon, man, is, like I said, his post-game, got the best post-game on this list, I believe, due to the footwork he has with the shimmy, the up-and-unders. Um, got a decent mid-range game. So with him, I feel like, you know, it's it, it's a no-brainer. We look at his stats, his accolades. I feel like he should be in anybody's top five. Due to the fact that his skills and how he played both ends so efficiently throughout his whole career. And like I said, he wasn't your typical big back then that could shoot jumpers. Cause like I said, he had a nice, a decent, nice mid-range game. And then he could take you in the post. And he was a good playmaker at times. So, Hakeem Olajuwon, man, is a versatile big man I would want want to be on my team. Like I said, a versatile five in terms of just uh, the defense he does on the other end with the blocks and steals and how he plays on offense, especially in the post with the footwork and can finish at the rim as well. And who I got number four, no other than barbecue chicken alert, Shaq the Diesel O'Neal, Shaquille O'Neal. Man, this dude, man, the most dominant big center of all time. Uh, man, his resume is incredible. From the moment his rookie year, he has been consistent with his stats all the way up to probably in the mid 2000s with Miami Heat. But to be that dominant in the early 90s and then continue to be dominant year after year after year after year after year. And I think just his third season. Well, second season in the league, he was the leading scorer. Averaging, I think, like 30 points a game. So, man, Shaq, man, it, like I said, his resume stats speak for itself, obviously. And, you know, like I said, when he was with the Orlando Magic, he was one of very, very, very rare bigs that can go coast to coast, kind of, kind of like how I mentioned about Charles Barkley. When you look at their physique and size, you've been like, how they are they able to go coast to coast like during the fast break? And, you know, he was, you know, a dominant big. I mean, you have to damn near get the whole stadium to guard him because <laughs> double team won't work. So, I mean, at times, and, you know, I said, man, Shaq is, is the most dominant big. You know, quickness of, uh, you know, when he was – when he was being in shape at times throughout his career, we saw how quick he could, he could go up and down the floor, coast to coast. Uh, he was a good rim protector, obviously, a um, great rebounder. And, you know, like I said, man, Shaq, man, Shaq has an incredible highlights, uh, stat line, accolades. I mean, you can't really, you know, argue, you know, he could be in your top three just based off how dominant he is and, Especially the moment he arrived to the league, he just took the whole center position to another level of how dominant centers can be. In the midst of at that time, I think it's, I think the league, no, I think the league around that time, then I was big dominant. Not so much guard, but it was mostly big. But he stepped in and just be like, "Hey, get out of the way! I'm taking over the post. A lot of barbecue chicken alert." <laughs> so he deserves to be on my number four. At number three. The Big Dipper, Will freaking Chamberlain, man, stat stuffer. Uh, his numbers is incredible. I think he had a few 30-point 30 30, 30 plus seasons. And I think 
his best season he ever had starting scoring, he dropped nearly 50 freaking points. 5-0. 50 freaking points, bro. That's that's insane. And, you know, he was a great rebounder, good rim protector. Uh, the amount of time went to the finals, he only won, I want to say, two championships. But, I mean, like I said, the way he uh, dominated at his time, how the league was, I mean, he was grabbing hella rebounds. As you as y'all see, his rebound totals and, you know, I say his accolades. I mean, I mean, he was a good playmaker because he was, uh, I th think, he led in the lead in assists one year. So, I mean, at that time, you know, I, you know, in that era of basketball of how he was projected, you know, he, he was a good playmaker for his position. So, uh, Akeem, uh, no, Akeem, uh Will Chamberlain, man, definitely, um, you know, elevated the Nuggets franchise. You know, athletic ability. You know what I mean? Can give you 20 blocks in the sleep. And I think he was the only rep, the only other player in the league history to get 20 points and 20 assists the same night. 20 points and 20 assists is insane. Something like Rondo would do in this prime. <laughs> For sure. So, he deserves to be my number three. And number two, the guy with the most championships of all time, no other than Bill Russell, NBA icon, NBA advocate, activist, uh, rest in peace to Bill Russell, man. Um, he wasn't the tallest center on his list. I think he was no more than 6'10", 6'11". So he was pretty much like a more agile big or center. Um, he was a great rebounder. I think he was a four-time rebounding champ, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And, you know, you know that many finals appearances and to win that many finals, bro, and win that many rings, speak for itself, man. Bill Russell, man. Is incredible uh, for what he done for the Celtics uh, when he arrived there. Um, I think he played with Bob Cousy. So I mean, you know, at, you know, it's you know, Bill Russell, man. He he, he was a he was a great big at for his time. Wasn't you no know, seven footer because he had been no no more than six ten, six eleven playing center. So Bill Russell, man, was was dominant at his prime, especially on the rebounding side and. Um, and back then, it's, it's, crazy, it's crazy around with Chamberlain and Bill Russell era. They didn't record blocks. But I'm pretty much sure he, he had games where he had hella blocks too because that many type of rebound that you have and you can block the ball, it's crazy. So, Bill Russell, man, based off his accolades and resume for himself, he deserves to be number two on my list. And number one, no other than Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Man, all around center, um, can score, the sky hook, hook shot is lethal. OP, the most OP shot ever. Uh, you know, um, it was dominant in college. Then came to Lee being dominant. Uh, you know, him and Oscar Robinson was a good duo. And then he played with another great point guard named Magic Johnson. So, I mean, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar resume, stats, accolades, speaks for itself. He was a great scorer. Uh, can literally just go in the post all night. Hook shots. I mean, dude had it all in his bag when it came, when it came to inside scoring. Uh, a good defender. A um, few all defensive teams uh, selections. So, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, man, he, he's... Bill Russell could have been number one, but I'm just like, I have to look at it in the whole totality of things. And Kareem Abdul-Jabari, man, he's to be dominant with two great guards and still be the number one guy is insane and it's incredible. So Kareem Abdul-Jabari, man, he's definitely be, he's definitely number one on my list, the greatest center of all time I ever played the game. And due to the fact that he's he held the number one scoring of points, total points for decades since LeBron passed him. On that list, now he's at number two. But to hold that record for decades, bro, is undeniable, bro, for real. So that's my list for my top five centers of all time. Let me know, you guys, if you agree with this list. But like this video, like, comment, share, subscribe, do whatever you gotta do. I love you guys. Jay Boogie is out.